Well, he sure had a lot of life in him when we went out after those cattle today. I just... <laughs> you like the way you can catch them? He's got some speed, don't he? See the gouge marks in the arena, darling? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you can feel the wind going past your ears when you're on him. <laughs> His granddad's the only horse in the world to ever run AAA and have a superior in cutting. And he's the only supreme champion with cutting points. Really? Yep, he's the only supreme champion with cutting points. So. I'll be dang. And he's got a superior in cutting. Yeah, yeah, he didn't just get point. He's running around with cutting, huh? And besides that, the speed and there's brains. I mean, it's just... Well, the thing that amazes me about Goodbye Sam is they brought him off the racetrack, as, as I understand the story. Two weeks later, they were showing him as a Western Pleasure horse. Is that right? While they had him in cutting training. And I know they run him on barrels. Yes, they did. Well, these horses, it would be, oh, barrel horses. I mean, people, I mean, they want to spend money on a barrel horse. I know. They, this kind of horse, they should buy. Because oh, yeah. they won't get crazy on you. I know it. You can haul them. Yeah. Well, Jody was proving that he could, he could be hauled. They took him 70,000 miles in eight months to 90 shows. Won sixty-five thousand dollars, and he only had three legs. Yeah. The goodbye, Sam, as a sire, sent thirteen colts to the NCHA Futurity in Fort Worth. Twelve of those made the finals or semifinals. Is that right? Which is ninety-two percent, and there's never been another stallion in history that's had that kind of numbers. And you know, they probably weren't campaigned as well as some of these horses are nowadays. No, no they weren't the popular pedigrees. <laughs> like that. The horses are all like that. Jody has sired uh, finalists and semi-finalists at Fort Worth. But it's very little, very few colts. I mean, it's not like he was one of the most bred horses in the world. He died with 180 babies. And they're beautiful. Pretty looking horses. Yeah, they are. Gorgeous. This horse's mother won $27,000 in 14 saddles as a four-year-old. She was shown in Jackson, Mississippi in the Area Workoffs Championship where she finished second in the nation in the 500 novice class. In, in what now? Uh, cutting. Cutting? Yeah. And then uh, they sold her for $55,000 and she was never shown again. And she won the Open in Oklahoma as a four-year-old. She shouldn't even been in that class as a four-year-old. And she won it? Yeah. You must be fed was, for the year. I mean, I mean it was, wasn't just win one show. She won the whole high Okay, who's his team. mother? Lucky Bottom Ann. And what, it was Lucky Bottom Ann was out of what? Lucky Star Mac and Bard Burdett. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Fires the head. Yeah. Well, that, and he's... He's a little more of an athlete. He's more agile. I mean, but he would do all right in the track, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah, he'd be okay. It doesn't matter where you take these horses. They're going to do okay. We'll leave him here. We'll take him down to Aberdeen next time. <laughs> <laughs> He's too old to run. <laughs> we'll put him in a claiming race. <laughs> now you think? <laughs> I claim you. <laughs> this is my future. I took these guys to get blood work done, a Coggins test so I could bring them here, you know. That vet looked at it and he says, man, you've got style, stallion power for years, he said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the throat latch on you. I know. You want that pretty head? Yeah. Look how pretty she is. Let me guess that one on the right's a stud, huh? Yeah. Well, she's worried, Darwin. It ain't showing up yet. <laughs> 